Five Unusual People in the World, Part Two Hundred and Six. Hello, all of you. I'm Keisha. I wish you a very happy day. We're all born different, with different geographical locations and different genetic codes. Among them are special people among millions. I believe you have heard someone mention some of them. Please explore with me through this video. Are you ready? Let's begin. Number five, Nia Selway. Nia Selway, a 25-year-old from Hastings, England, suffers from a rare condition known as aquagenic urticaria, which causes her to be allergic to water at any temperature. This condition has been with her since childhood and has worsened as she has grown older. Even a drop of water can cause intense pain for her. There are fewer than 40 recorded cases worldwide, and Nia Selway is unable to engage in any water-related activities, such as swimming, taking hot showers, or even soaking after a stressful day's work. Even sweat triggers itching and red welts for her. During rainfall, she quickly seeks shelter as she can't tolerate contact with water. Every time her body breaks out in hives. It takes about two hours for the new red marks to subside. They think it's inevitable, but the pain it induces makes it challenging for her. Fortunately, this condition doesn't affect her ability to drink water or her internal organs. Despite many years passing, doctors have yet to find any treatment for Nia's peculiar symptoms. Certainly, nobody wishes for challenges to impact their family and children. Unfortunately, many families do face difficult trials. Number four, Hu Goju. Hu Goju, born in 2003 in China, confronted a deeply heart-wrenching rare illness. After a series of surgery, a portion of his head had to be removed, rendering him as the Half Head Boy, a nickname that stuck in people's memories. Goju came into the world as a healthy twin. However, by the age of three, congenital encephalitis began to manifest, leading to frequent spasms in his left leg. His father, Hu Xiaofeng, without hesitation, took his son to a hospital in Beijing, where after several risky surgeries, part of his skull and hemisphere had to be removed, turning him into the half-head boy. While the surgeries improved his health condition. He also left the family in a debt of fifteen thousand dollars in medical bills. Recently, Goju underwent a cosmetic surgery that provided him with a more conventional appearance. Despite a successful surgery, doctors cautioned that the functional recovery will take time, and he won't return to his previous state. Hands and feet are parts of the body that we often take for granted. But not everyone is fortunate enough to have them fully. Some people in the world don't have them or suffer from unfortunate disabilities. Number three, Chelsea Otten and Chastity Young. Chelsea Otten and Chastity Young, two women born with congenital disabilities, which make them distinct from the majority of us. Chelsea has no arms and knees, only seven toes. Meanwhile, Chastity was born without arms and with very short legs. Both are only three feet four inch tall. It's not surprising to talk about both at the same time because they share a unique and touching relationship. About 30 years ago, doctors predicted that Chelsea would never have a normal life. However, to this day, she still doesn't understand what made her different. Chastity Young lives with Tetra Amelia syndrome, a rare congenital disorder that leaves her with very short arms and legs. They became aware of each other's life through a documentary and decided to meet in person. Chastity traveled across Texas from her home in Dallas to meet Chelsea in Houston. Since then, they have become close friends due to their rare commonalities. Chelsea is currently happy with her fiance Jonathan, who stands at five feet six. Despite being much taller than her, he always cherishes her. Both Jalissa and Chastity continue to advocate for people with disabilities and help others learn to love their bodies no matter their circumstances.
Number two, North Thai Bai. North Thai Bai, a woman from Bhagwani, India, had to face a shrink tumor that emerged between her forehead and nose not long ago. It quickly grew and covered almost her entire face. With that large tumor, kissing her husband became impossible. The tumor, spreading from her forehead to her nose and extending past her eyes, created numerous difficulties in North Thai's daily life. It obstructed her vision, caused pain, and affected her spirits as she often faced criticism and scorn from neighbors. The facial deformity also affected Norgai's married life. However, due to challenging circumstances, she couldn't undergo surgery immediately. It wasn't until recently that the young mother could afford treatment at Maharaja Yashwantrao Hospital. There, Norkai underwent a 90-minute surgery to remove the tumor. Currently, her health condition has improved, albeit with long scars on her face, but this change has brought new hope to Norkai's life. Number 1. Natasha Sometimes, our hobbies can turn into addictions no one would have expected. Natasha, a woman from Rialto, California, has a rather unique hobby. She not only uses clay masks for beauty, but also eats them, even to the point of being addicted. Unlike most people using masks for skincare, Natasha tasted it once while applying it to her face. Since then, she has become addicted to clay masks. Every day, she consumes an entire jar of the mask, substituting it for meals and occasionally pairing it with fries and beer. She carries a cup everywhere, ready to indulge in her favorite meal. Natasha describes it, The taste is incredible, like the aroma of damp soil and always gives a satisfying feeling. I just like to sit there and savor them. Her hobby doesn't stop at clay mask, but extends to various skincare products. She has become addicted to cosmetics, which could seriously impact her health. Doctors are deeply concerned about Natasha's addictive behavior, as what she eats and uses contains compounds like aluminum and titanium, which could potentially harm the kidneys and nervous system. She feels full and can't eat regular food anymore. The chemical imbalance in her body is causing unintended consequences, yet her addiction isn't easy to break. You see, it really stands out in the crowd. Anyone who meets them once can remember them forever. I don't think any of them were unlucky. They were very lucky because they had enough strength to continue their journey. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to watch more interesting videos. For now, goodbye and see you again.